Hey everyone, um, in this video I'm going to unbox and review this humidity sensor. So once in a while it's really useful to be able to have information about uh, humidity in a certain area like your basement or some enclosed space. So this humidity sensor was on sale and it was made by a company called Meros. Miros. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but um, yeah, so it's a it's a wireless system, and I thought, you know what, let me give it a try. All right, so let's see here. Um, it comes with, I guess, the sensor and some kind of Wi-Fi hub, probably. Yep, exactly. It's a Wi-Fi hub, and this is the actual unit, and the unit is using a CR. 2477 battery so I'm pretty sure this unit communicates to this Wi-Fi hub right here and the Wi-Fi hub would be powered by a USB and it would basically transmit the Wi-Fi signal from here to here and let's see what else this comes with by the way uh, if you want to buy this I'm gonna put the link in the description uh, for you to buy it bought it from Amazon I think it's pretty cheap, around 20 bucks. But um, yeah, just check out the link on on the description or the first comment. All right, so we got the uh, the cable here. This is a micro USB cable, pretty typical, and it comes with an adapter. Let's see how many milliamp the adapter would require. All right. So the adapter is a thousand milliamp, so one amp at five volt. Okay. Um, yeah, so I guess I'm going to plug it up, install the app, and, and try it out. Okay, I got the uh, Wi-Fi hub plugged in, and it's blinking green and red and we're just gonna put that aside and the actual unit itself has a tab that usually you need to pull so that it activates it, it makes contact with the battery all right so I just pulled it and and it had a some kind of light that blinked for a moment and then it disappeared okay so I think the next thing that we need to do is probably just to download the app and, and try to uh, connect to it. Alright, so on the manual, there is a QR code right here. So I'm going to go ahead and scan that QR code using my app, I mean my, my iPhone. Okay, there you go. And let's go ahead and download that. Okay, I got the uh, Meros app downloaded and installed. And uh, once you start up, um, you are going to need to click on the smart sensor and alarm. And then uh, tap on MS100. Click next. It says I have installed my smart hub already. Well, I haven't really, but let's see. The LED is not blinking red and green. It's not blinking red and green. In about five seconds, the LED will be begin blinking amber and green slowly. Okay, it is blinking. So, I'm going to do the non-home kit version. And then uh, I'm going to click OK. So, it's detecting my location. I'm going to click allow and it is going to I'm going to try to connect to this using my Wi-Fi so I'm going to go to Wi-Fi settings I'm going to look for Maris right there so it's going to connect to this hub and it's going to I'm, I'm probably going to require to um, put in my Wi-Fi password I'm pretty sure alright so once that's connected I go back to here it's going to try to communicate to this 
and it's communicating right now. All right, now it's going to require a password for my Wi-Fi. I'm going to enter that off camera, of course. Okay. We're continuing right now. It is probably setting this Wi-Fi, my Wi-Fi password to this hub so that it can connect to my Wi-Fi. And then after it's connecting, and then we're going to click done. Okay. And it's telling me to unplug the, um, the plastic that separates the battery from the circuit board, which I already did a long time ago. And uh, so now it's uh, continuing on and it's trying to communicate to this. And it's trying to add it to my Wi-Fi network. All right, so there's really no button or anything to do on, the, on this particular device. There seems to be a hole here. Maybe that's some kind of reset button, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that is a reset button right here on this side right here. You see that hole? Okay. So we're still waiting for it to finish configuration. See what kind of um, light. So the light right now is just green. But it's taking a long time for it to to do anything. I think it's probably because it's been a while since I unplugged that battery, so I may need to press that button. I'm going to get a, uh, a pin real quick. Alright, so I got a pin. I'm going to go ahead and use it to... Oops, it's not big enough. Alright, let me get a smaller pin. I mean, I'm, it's not small enough. Okay, so this one is small enough, and uh, I just pressed it. Just keep it pressed for a few seconds. I'm gonna let it go. Okay, let's see if it does anything. No sensor was found. All right, so let's click on start over. So I'm supposed to press this two times. Obviously, I didn't follow direction. One, two rapidly okay next all right come on let's get this done Is the the light on the hub is blinking really fast green and there's nothing going on right here and looks like there's still nothing going on so I just pressed it again oh there look at that so all you do is just press it okay so now your smart sensor is successfully installed let's get started click done all right here we go we have temperature at 26.7 degrees Celsius and relative humidity at 54%. So um, I'm not in in um, in a country with Celsius. So let me see temp unit. Let's change that to Fahrenheit right away because I'm in America. All right, that's 80 degree Fahrenheit. That's about right. It's not that hot or cold here, and the humidity is at 54%. Alright, so let's see what other features it has. It has history. Oh, that's pretty nice right here. Uh, this is where, what I was looking for actually. You'll be able to, um, to, um, to see how is the temperature change and the relative humidity also. Relative humidity is this green colored here and the temperature is this uh, bluish color uh, line. And you can also do weeks and months. So this is going to be interesting. I'm going to try to um, 
um, run this for about a week and uh, come back and, and show you the graph what it looks like uh, for for the entire week. Here is what the um, result looked like after a week or actually several weeks of recording. I uh, completely forgot about the uh, sensor in the garage and uh, so it's been recording for um, I would say about three four weeks now and as you can see there's a lot of uh, daily weekly and monthly data here and you can use your finger to scroll back and forth uh, to find the data that you want and the app and uh, the data is actually pretty good and i'm going to also try to put this outside uh, with this inside the house and see um, if we can monitor this on how easy it is and how far it goes uh, for us to be able to have that um, the, the sensor completely in a different area all right so um, I hope you find this video useful if you do I uh, hope you give it a thumbs up and don't forget if you want to buy this smart temperature and humidity sensor from Amazon please use my link and if you find this type of video useful and you like it, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel. Thank you.